This is the grandson of Right Thought. Welcome to the School of Marvelous Light. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, right? So what is death? Do y'all actually know what death is? I mean, it's obvious a lot of people don't know what death is because all through the scripture, you know, you read where it says, you know, this person is dead. They thought they were dead. And at one point, you know, Christ had to say, she's not dead. She's just asleep. So then what is dead? When ye were dead in your sins. You see that? <laughs> so how simple it makes it. Dead is in sin. So what is the last sin? Lust. Uncontrolled lust. Like I've been telling you guys, that is the enemy right now that is going to and fro making merchandise of you men. Causing you to sell yourself short, sell yourself out. It's lust. Desire for more, 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 more. See? First name lust, last name more. Lusty more. That's who the hell y'all been serving. As elect, you should know that by now because I've been yelling it from the rooftops. It's lust. Red. That's the last chakra of the body. Therefore, it's the last enemy to be destroyed. Lust. It's what kills. It is what makes death. <laughs> it's simply the lust for more. I know it doesn't seem like that's really significant. That it does the damage that that shit do. You may not know that. That's what caused death on the earth. Let's see. Why are all the trees cut down? Now watch this. Y'all are going to say a bunch of reasons. I'm going to say lust. And at the end of y'all re reasoning, let's see if y'all come to the same conclusion that the grandson did. Let's see if we came to the same conclusion, which is all the trees were cut down for lust. Why are there oil spills in the ocean? Lust. You'll say a bunch of other reasons. I'm going to say lust. And at the end of all your reasoning, we'll see which who was right. Why are there thefts and robberies? Lust is why. Why are there soul contra contracts written in blood? Lust is why. Why do people sell out their family members, sell out their brothers and sisters to die? Lust is why. Lust is very subtle. It is the most subtle of all the sins. Can y'all hear me preaching to y'all right now? Lust. That's where Cain came from. I told you, a lust baby. See how the word always connect like... Legos, they just click right into place. Lust crept in. It affected the feelings first. In other words, the woman. <laughs> the woman was affected by lust first. And then through her own lust and defilement, she brought it to her husband. And started to teach him things that she had learned while she was lusting. Let's see if that's how it works in this world. When a young girl gets defiled and loses her virginity in some stupid way or against her will, doesn't matter. I mean, the fact that she loses it in some unfortunate manner, she becomes usually a whore. And during her years of whoredom, or as they like to say today, hot girl summer or whatever y'all want to call it. During this time, she learns a bunch of nasty shit from a whole bunch of creeps. You see? So when she gets married... 
her husband is going to not be doing that stuff like chaining her up and putting in an anal plug and all this other shit and uh, all kind of other weird things that we could say. He's not thinking that when he gets with her. He's thinking pure thoughts and just making love to her pure and all the other shit. But during the midst of the relationship, he starts to learn new stuff from her that she learned from her past. See how this shit go? Pull my hair, daddy. Huh? Choke me, daddy. Huh? Smack my ass harder. Huh? How you know? Did, how did you know you like that? Because it's been done before. That's how she know, husband. <laughs> That's why she knows she wants it harder, and faster, and deeper. In any way where she can feel it more. <laughs> because that's what she has learned. And now she's teaching it to you. So Genesis all over, all over, all over. Being done over and over in cycles and in loops. In every man's life like I've told you. And that corrupts a man. That's simple. That corrupts a man. So if you want to know where sexual defilement is coming from, well, I just told you where it's coming from. Y'all can get all in your feelings about it, <laughs> but I told you where it's coming from. So inside of you, that's where your lust is coming from, a feeling. Watch how this works, y'all, and then you tell me if I'm lying to you or not. You think a thought. Soon after, sometimes immediately after, a feeling comes in association with the thought that you've had. Now that feeling you have may give you a good feeling, see? It may be a, what you consider a good feeling. Now, that if, it is, if you shouldn't be wanting or desiring that thought that you had, but you go and do it anyway, that's called lust, see? Man, it sure would be great to have that. Thoughts like that. It's so simple. It's very subtle. I told you. It is the most subtle of all sins. Lust is. Because it'll come harmless. It'll be like this. You'll see something that's really nice. Just say it's a watch. And it's sitting there on a, on a, in a jewelry. On, on top of the jewelry. You know how they got the glass when you can look inside? Well, somebody before you was looking at that watch. So the jeweler pulled it out. Well, he forgot it was sitting there. And he went on about his business. He went in the back to go do something. The fucking Rolex is sitting right there. It's a badass Roly. And you're looking at it. Now, when you look at it, watch this and listen to me carefully. And like I said, you tell me if I'm lying to you. When you look at that watch, two thoughts are coming. One thought is going to go. Oh shit, did he forget that damn thing? He went in the back. Here's my chance to snatch that damn roll. It's your chance, brother. The other voice is going, hey man, don't do that shit, man. Tell that dude he left the rollie out, bro. Before he get got. Somebody come snatch that thing. Now, depending on the feeling you have, which one is stronger? Which one is stronger will determine which one you'll do. Which voice weighs out the other inside of you? So if you have not made your eyes single, then you're having a dilemma inside of yourself. Can y'all hear me preaching? If you have made your eyes single, then you're only listening to one of those voices inside of yourself. The one that says, tell the man the Rolex. So as soon as you that voice comes, tell the man the Rolex is there. You go, hey, hey sir, hey, hey, you left that, that $15,000 watch sitting there. He's like, oh, shit, my bad. Shit, sorry, boss. The boss is looking at him, what the hell are you doing? I told you, fucking pay attention when you go out there and do that shit. Almost cost me 15 grand, buddy. <laughs> you see? But that other nigga, the lust-filled nigga goes, I just can't help it. He runs over there, he grabs the fucking Rolex with a decoy. He grabs that shit. <laughs> fucking buzzer goes off and shit. The fucking watch electrocutes the nigga. Oh, shit. Yep. Yep, my nigga, your lust took you over and it got you dead. Because that's what happens, it'll get your ass dead. You're playing with death when you play with lust. 
Now watch this. The day you eat of it, you shall surely die. Can y'all hear the grandson telling you with clarity what the secret was they was using on you all along was? It's lust, guys. It's simply lust. For things, for women, for riches, for gold, for fame, for whatever the world has to offer you. Let's see if that's what it is. Hey, if you fall down here and worship me, I'll give you all the kingdoms of this world. Look at this nigga. Here he is again. Lust. Here he is again. Serpent trying to sneak up on Yahusha talking about I give you a whole world. If you fall down and worship me. Uh-uh. We worship I am and him alone do we worship. Nah, nigga. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn. This guy. He won't use the ego for nothing. Nope. Because I don't belong to myself, nigga. So what I want doesn't matter. So, shh. That's what I do. I keep my eyes single. Yahusha, what do you say? Because you'll never lie to me nor lead me astray. So I learned to just shut up myself, shut everybody else the fuck up, and only listen to you. Dee 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 dee. That's what it sounds like when you niggas be running your mouth at me. I just keep on singing my song, and you just keep on flapping your gums, and I just keep on saying I am free and I am beautiful, and you just keep saying vanity words, and I don't pay attention to them <laughs> yep I'm an asshole to the enemy I told you I'd be like Hezekiah I'd be smashing symbols in the temple so I can't hear that nigga talk to me with his lies my eye be single on Yahusha and that's just what it is you see so lust ain't got no way to work over here when I know the truth. And if you know the truth, then lust can't work in your life and say, Hey, man, I know you got a wife, but what about that thing right there? Hey, man, she's single. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, and you find out she's not single. Damn, that nigga lied to me. I thought you said she was single. Oh, uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, I thought she was, but okay, she got a husband, but she ain't happy. That's how he talks. But she's not happy. Look how he treats her. You will treat her better. You'll have sex with her better. You'll please her better than he ever could. Look at this nigga in his ego. Look at this nigga all in his ego. That's with everything. So there's nothing else to be fighting against today. It's just your own lust. And if you conquer your own lust today, then you've won. You don't need to fight anybody else. You don't need to fight man. You don't need to fight in any wars. All you need to do is stand still and see the, found the salvation of the great I am. Because that's what I do. Somebody says, hey, you're this. I go, I am this. And I, then I stand still and I wait to see the salvation of it. <laughs> I'm serious. That's all I do. They'd be like, you're locked up. I'd be like, I am free. And I keep saying that until it happens. And then I watch them all fade away into dust behind me as I keep moving forward. <laughs> Keep it stepping while these niggas be hating. And I don't care because I ain't going to be faking. <laughs> nope. Keep my eyes single and so should you if you was wise. So like I say... Today, I just want to encourage you all, men and women alike, it's just lust. He's trying to get you to want more, to want that new house in that suburbs. Shit like that stupid shit don't matter, but he make you think it do. So you work for a decade to get it. Your credit score, you're all watching that shit, making sure you don't fuck up your credit score. Come on. I got to get that new house in Birmingham. I got to get that new house in Beverly Hills. And then you get it, and then you found, saw somebody else that was richer than you that had a batter, that had an island. You're like, I gotta get an island too! Then I'll be rich! Oh, fuck. Okay, we'll keep chasing that lie if you want to. That's called lust you're chasing. And he says, if you eat, the day you eat of lust, you shall surely die. The day you partake of lust, you shall surely die. Is that what you niggas want to do, is die? <laughs> 
or what did Yahushua say? If you keep my word, you shall never see death. By the way, you shall never see lust if you keep Yahushua's word. Don't you see how it's going? That's the Hebrew word for it. They tried to make it all however they want to make it. Lust and death is synonymous. It means the same thing because lust bring about death. And what does sin do? Bring about death. The wages of this shit is death. But the wages of listening to Yahushua is life and life everlasting. So I'll go ahead and have the everlasting plate. I don't know what you niggas going to do. Y'all chasing vanity and shit. Y'all y'all run into a room and then the thing that was in there that you wanted so bad, it quickly vanishes. <gasps> soon as you open it, <laughs> soon as you open the door, yes, I've got obtained it. Whew. It's gone. What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. What about the next thing? You run in that room, <laughs> it vanishes. <laughs> y'all keep doing that while I sit here and kick back and relax. Silawam Israela.